I am going to review a Paula Young wig, which is so much more budget friendly. And I would really suggest that if you're new to wigs, don't do like I did where I showed you my mistakes. Order from a budget friendly company first. Find what you kind of like and the colors uh, so that you don't make a mistake. So this is Anita and um, she is in a, a pecan blend. It is eight. 12A, and she, this is a regular size, so I'm gonna take her out of the box. And she is a what they call a standard cap, has that um, wefting. Uh, she does not have a lace front. Uh, she, you know, it's okay. She does not have a lace front, but it's okay to me actually because she has bangs. Now, if she didn't have bangs, I probably would. I, I would want a lace front, and they do have lace fronts. This was $29. Um, I got her on the uh, clearance. So again, be sure to keep your tags on before, before you, um, let me adjust the camera just a little bit. Keep your tags on before you decide whether you're gonna keep your wig or not. Um, so I had tried her on. I haven't worn her anywhere yet because I kind of feel like my mother in this. I think she's adorable and I um, she has these bangs now I did trim them and what I did is I took just a few and I twirled and then I um, very slowly trimmed them up and then I point cut did a point cut um, since she was only $29 I wasn't too worried about it now what I like about this one it I like the color I was a little worried that it was a little too light because my hair was actually pretty dark, uh, but I like the color. And you can kind of play with her, you can kind of twirl and bring your curls down. You can fluff her up, you can flatten her. All right, so. But I do think I look like, like I'm from the, like I'm, like I'm my mother, who doesn't look anything like me. But I do feel like this hairstyle is sort of like my mother's. Uh, when she was a younger woman so I'm not sure but I think it's cute I do think it, it like it lifts my face up I think it's cute so what do you think is it too um, frumpy it's a little high looking up there I know um, a little bit high um, so you tell me what you think. Now, she's very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Um, she's not going anywhere. Now, normally I wear um, a velvet wig grip. Uh, not just the stocking, but she's not going anywhere. She, This is secure. And she is a regular cap. She does not have that lace front. See, no lace front. But she comes down, and that's okay. And what I do is I have this, uh, and it's old. This wow, uh, I think Clairol makes something like this now. See, it's a little powder. And I do wear my hair, because my hair kind of comes down. I do a little bit of my hair, so that way it's okay. So this is Anita, a Polly Young wig, $29. I don't think you can beat that. I did the water soak, like people suggest. Um, and then I used the Polly Young products on her, which, um, I find that they're okay. I know people use all different brands, but I did purchase a little kit. wasn't too expensive, so I got I got the hairspray, I got the uh, finish it, which is the conditioner, and I got the shampoo. And then I also bought this um, styling um, silicone spray to put on the my my wigs uh, to make them last a little bit longer much what I've what I'm using so you tell me is this one okay because I haven't worn her out in public yet um, I don't want to look frumpy uh, I don't want to look like like I'm from the 1960s although I'm you know I am from the 1960s but I don't want to feel like it is the 1960s see what I like is that you can kind of twirl her you can put it back you can do all sorts of stuff and you can even do um, a little clip you know you can put some clips in her and hold your hair back so I bought these little clips 
someone I follow uses them a lot. So this is Anita. Now this is what I would suggest if you are just starting out. Buy something reasonable. Something that you can, um, if something happens to it, doesn't suit you, whatever, it's okay. Now I did have, I do have one more to review. I had to send it back, I had a little problem. And when it comes back, I'll review it. And it is also a Paula Young wig, but it's a little bit longer, but it was adorable. But you could see the seam down the back of it, so it wasn't sewn very well. So don't take your tags off, inspect your wigs first so that you can send them right back if they're not correct. All right, please like and subscribe. And as I'm able, I will be buying some other wigs to show you because um, I'm online every day. I teach virtually and I wanna look nice for my students. So every morning I get up, I put my makeup on, I get dressed and I, I throw on a wig and I teach now. Uh, because I don't want, just because it's virtual, does it mean I don't want to look professional? All right. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.